Hey guys, today we want to show you a few updates that we did on the OpenAI features. So these are mainly for ChatGPT to understand more about the user's query. And both of them will actually help you generate better responses. So the first one is to easily store the user's chat history with the chatbot. So previously uh, we showed you that you can create a JSON field and you will need to basically store your own answer or the user's answer, and then also the chatbot's response inside that exact same JSON field. Now we made this process much simpler, as you will see in just a few seconds. And we also provided you with an option to clear the entire chat history as well, if you need it. And the action looks like following. So if you want to clear the user's chat history, we now have this as an action. So as you can see here, clear remembered chat history. If we say test request, then you will get a certain response back. You can also map this if you like to, it is not necessary, but if the response is anything but status okay, then you could basically follow up a different way. So just know that you can map it, but it is not needed to let this action run. So the next step is that you can also give chat GPT a system message. So how does it need to respond? What kind of role does chat GPT needs, need to follow? And this is something that you can now set in the actions as well. So if we go towards the second action for creating chat completion, you will see that you will now have a system message. So you can now basically set an entire system message, an entire system role with all the information about your business directly inside of the system message. So no need for uh, OpenAI embeds if you don't want to use those. And as you can see, these, this is a pretty big system message. Everything is included here. So if we take a look at the first section, you are a powerful salesperson who works for a restaurant, in this case, Chicks Son Alitas, and you will only answer information about questions regarding Chicks Son Alitas products. Always answer in the first person, answer only when uh, what they ask you in a short way, always based on the information of the products that I have provided. Answer persuasively and with a short summary answer. So you will also see that all the product information, if we scroll down, is inserted inside of this system message. And then at the end, we also have some business information. So we also have some short FAQ. So we only sell the drinks that are on the list. If they ask for another drink that is not included in the list, recommend another drink that is on the list instead. We also have, when giving information on a variety of products, respond in a list format as always, as follows, product one, product two, product three. And then we also have a section for business information. Then we also have another condition, do not suggest another service channel for receiving orders only by this means. Condition three, when requesting data for product shipment, always request the following information in a list format as follow. So full name, address, phone, neighborhood, reference point. Condition four, when displaying all the products, do not include the title category in the message. And the last condition, ask for the flavor of the soft drink if it's not been provided. So this system message is a complete guideline. So not only the role that ChatGPT needs to follow, but also the information about the business, the products and the services. Then we will have a message here. And this is a variable message. And I just inserted this test value. So where are you located? And here we have to remember the history. So if we say no, then we can just leave as is. But if we say yes, the system will automatically store the history in a system JSON field called OpenAI, which we'll take a look at in just a few seconds. And this will be used for the next jet with remember the history set to yes. The rest is pretty much the same. So we have the model, the max tokens, temperature, presence penalty, frequency penalty, and the stop sequences, number of completions, and so on. So if we going to test the request on where are you located, then it should give something like this, right? So it should most likely give the, these two addresses. So let's take a look. If we take a look under the message, you will now see we have two locations, one in Laureles on Cal and the other in Sabaneta on Carrera. 
And I believe if we scroll up, you will see that as well. So address lower, lower less and subanetta. The only thing that you need to take into account is the more information you give inside the system message, the more tokens you will use, right? So if we take a look at the total tokens, you will see that the prompt tokens are 14, 1406. So that means these are the prompt tokens. So the system message along with what we are typing here. So for the messages themselves. So if you want to also include the entire history, right? The, so the entire chat GPT history, you will use up a lot more tokens that way. So keep that in mind. If you do not mind, then there is no issue, but we need to make you aware, the more that you insert inside the system message, the more tokens will be used. Because if we take a look at the completion step, so for this content message, right? So we have two locations, this, this answer, only 67 tokens have been used. So in total, we used 1,473 tokens. And of those total tokens, 1,406 tokens have been used for the prompt itself. So just keep that in mind because that is also important to, to notice, especially with high traffic chatbots, that your tokens will be used a lot more in a higher frequency. Now let's test this out and let's see what we get. So if we take a look from the start, let's preview this from the OpenAI Clear Remembered Chat History. So let's just open this in the side of a web. Welcome to Chicken Store, how can I help you today? Let's say, uh, where is my order? So let's see if ChatGPT can come up with a certain reply and it should only take just a few seconds. And here we are. I'm sorry, but I'm not able to check the status of your order without any information about your order. If you could provide me with your full name, address, phone number, and neighborhood, I can definitely help you track your order. So let's ask another one. So let's say, where are you located? Now it will go back inside that action, take a look at the entire system message for the information, and then reply back with a new message and as you can see here uh, we have two locations however please note that we are only provide home deliveries in this location okay so if we take a look now at my bot user profile so if we go there and take a look at the guest you will now also see an open ai system field so if we take a look inside you will see that we have the system message right and that's a really long message because that's the entire prompt, as you can see here. So that system message will always be on top. Then you will see that we have the, where is my order? Then chat GPT responding. Then we have the user, where are you located? And then last but not least, the chat GPT responds with the following information. So, do note that this JSON field is not unlimited characterized, so it needs to be less than 20,000 characters. No need to worry though, because if you are exceeding that character limit, then the system will automatically delete the oldest messages inside of this JSON field. This way, ChatGPT will always have a proper context for you and be able to respond much more accurate than normal. So we hope you like these two new updates. So do try them out. Let us know how you find them. And of course, if you have any questions, do let us know. For now, have a great day. Take care and talk soon.